Right over the middle, and this guy can play it, and he gets lit up by Gerald Brown. Nick Lewis said, bring it on. He is fun to watch. He goes right over to Gerald Brown and taps him on the head, said, nice hit. That's what the game's about. Way to go. And credit to Gerald Brown for still being out there, because that's a truck coming across the middle. For the Eskimos, first and ten, Giles again. Look at this, wide open, and it's a touchdown! Right back to Kerry Cope. Could he be more wide open? And Steven Giles fires a bullet. Week one against Calgary. Drop for a loss here, second and long. And he's got another catch, was it touch? He's up, foot race, Brian Bratton to the cold touchdown. 68 yards for Bratton. And the Alouette offense finally has traction. I think it was Eric Fraser that jumps over Brian Bratton as he goes down here. He rolls there, look at Fraser trying to avoid a penalty. Jumps up over top of him. And aware Brian Bratton gets up and keeps on going. Eskimos on the verge of going to two and one. Look out, Kerry Joseph. Dumping it off to Charles again. And look out. Say goodbye. He's going to score. Touchdown. Backflip. Hugh Charles. 76 yards. And then keeping with the theme rod, another great play call, well executed by the Edmonton Eskimos. Pause it down. Big hit. Julie Elliott to Chris Matthews. He's going to score. Chris Matthews, touchdown. 72-yard pass and run play. Joey Elliott, one for one. Touchdown. Chris Matthews, third touchdown as a Winnipeg Blue Bomber. They found a star here. Three Fontaine. Williams has a seam. Here he goes. He's going to go. There was a flag on the play. Chris Williams scores. A little delayed reaction. There were a lot of Tiger Cats because of the clutch and grab that goes on at the line of scrimmage. When you're one of those guys for Hamilton, one of the blockers, you're worried that you might have been caught. But it goes the Tiger Cats' way, and for the second time in as many weeks, Chris Williams has a punt return touchdown. First and 15. Here comes the rush, and Pierce lets it fly downfield in traffic. And going up, and who has it? Looks like Matthews may have it. Both players went up for the ball. That is an outstanding catch by Chris Matthews. Particularly when your offense is struggling at the time. Giles, sideline, Chambers. Oh, he caught it. No, they're saying an incomplete pass. Look for a moment that Shamon Chambers had made the catch. And he said, throw the flag, coach, throw the flag. Here it is in his thigh, off his calf. And he, yeah, he clearly keeps the ball up off the ground. Well, Shamon Chambers, you just made your first highlight of the night. Callum missed his last attempt of just inside 45. This is from 40 to tie this game, opening play, fourth quarter. And he's missed that one. Well, that's not the Paul McCallum of 2011, no. and Look out. they're bringing it out. I wasn't sure that was a good idea. Tristan Jackson thinks otherwise. Down the sidelines, comes back, two flags. It's a touchdown. Well, they've been waiting five years for a return touchdown in Saskatchewan. Tristan Jackson just supplied it. Tristan Jackson needs one block to spring Tristan Jackson. And a tremendous coaching decision by Corey Chamberlain. He said, I want just a pure returner. 
44 yarder. Jacks in the hole. This pitch is hooked though. And he missed it. Chris Williams uses the goal post. Picks his way out. That's back-to-back -back weeks that the Argos have given up. Missed field goal return TD. This is the second time today we've had a missed field goal in the CFL go for a touchdown.